Dad? Momo? Oh, Xiao Jiang. You. What's up with your arm? Um, nothing. I hurt it a little. What did you do? <laughs> I wasn't being careful. And I slipped. Then I put my arm out to catch myself. Here, sit down. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Did you fracture it? It's fine. I took an x-ray. Only a tiny little bit. How can you be so careless? <laughs> Forget it. All oh, right. Didn't you say you were coming over tomorrow at noon? Xiaomi wants to see Mama. He asked me to get him home tonight so we can video chat. Where's Mama? Well, Mama. Mama slipped and fell too? No, 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 no. He didn't. He. Well. I'll, I'll tell you the truth, but you can't be angry. Mama. Didn't. Come over here yesterday. Is it because the fracture you can't take care of him anymore? No, it's not like that. He. Didn't Liu Guangyao said he'd bring him back in an hour yesterday? Okay, listen. He almost kneeled down to me yesterday. What else could I say to him? I felt so sorry for him, so I agreed in the end. What is he trying to do? I didn't know that Liu Guangyao was this kind of person. I already told him that Mama was not allowed to stay at their place. How can you make that decision yourself? But no matter what has happened, he's still Mao Mao's biological father. He also said he wants to give Mao Mao more love to make up for what he owes you. Don't listen to him! He just hates it when Mao Mao calls him uncle and not daddy! But as the boy's biological father, is it wrong for him to have that thought? But why would you put yourself in I, his shoes? I, what is I, Xiaomi I, going I, to do when he hears this? I, 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 won't, I, I won't argue with this with you. Let's not argue about it. I shouldn't let Mao Mao stay over at their place without telling you. And I didn't tell you the truth when I was on the phone with you yesterday. That's my fault. I apologize to you, okay? And don't worry about Jiaming. I'll explain it. Don't just say sorry. You think they'll fix it? Okay, I'll shut up. Now, you should hurry up and pick up Mao Mao now, okay? I'll pack your stuff now. You should come with me. Oh, what for? I'm fine. Just go. How can I leave you like this? There's nothing to worry about. I survived the last two days, didn't I? Huh? Go, or it'll be too late. Jiaming's waiting to have a video call with Mao Mao. Go! Fine, I'm gonna go now. Just go! Go! Give me a call if you need anything. I will, don't worry. I'm worried about you. Look at you. You're acting like my mom. I'm fine, really. Go! I'm going now. Hey, sir, can you drive any faster? Where is Mama sleeping? He's sleeping upstairs. I thought you were coming to pick him up tomorrow morning. He's asleep already. Are, are you still going to take him home? I, but he's sleeping. He's asleep right now. Why do you come here so late? I'm taking Mama home. Look, the boy's already asleep. Let me bring him back to you tomorrow. No way. You knew I wouldn't agree to let Mama stay over, and you lied to my dad. Singh has nothing to do with your dad. I'll tell you what happened to the future, okay? What next time? Oh, come on. You really have to take him back? I haven't packed his stuff yet. I'll go pack his bag now. Uh... Why do you have to be so dramatic? Why are you so greedy? Say, say what you want, but Mama is still my son. What's wrong with him staying here for once? Mama, Mommy's here to hey, pick careful, you up, okay? Yeah. Oh, careful. Here, Mommy's here. Hey, here. Mommy's here. Yeah. I got fine, it, fine. I got it. Fine. You're supposed to follow the rules, not to break them when I'm gone. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. You're right. Be careful. I, I put everything he came with in the bag, as well as some toys we bought and some snacks and stuff. Everything is in the bag. Everything. You don't have to buy him so much stuff every time he comes. It's nothing. I really like spoiling my grandson. Oh, be I'm careful, cold. careful. Don't catch a cold. Look, why don't you, why don't you let Guangyao drive you home? It's all right. Please open the door for me. Okay, okay. You guys should go careful, back. Careful, careful. Watch out.
Let's go. If it weren't for Mao Mao, I would have punched her right in the face there. She's unbelievable. Come on. It's not like you don't know what Xiao Chang's temper is like. If she insists on something, there's no convincing her otherwise. Forget it. We still have the right to see the boy once a week. If this really did piss her off, we may not get to again. That's just what you think. I'm not so sure. She's just being an angry woman. <gasps> What's wrong? Oh, no. You know the big fluffy toy we bought for him? I forgot to put it in his bag. Ah, you scared me. I thought it was serious. We can just give it to him some other day. No, we can't do that. Mama can't fall asleep without holding it. You know that he can also. Take it to her. Ma, up. Do you really think that's the best time to do that? Really? That would be humiliating. <sighs> not now. We'll do it some other day, okay? You're not going to go? Hmm? I'll go. Ah, okay. Fine, fine, fine. He won again. I'll go, I'll go, okay? Do you know how many times that I've called you? You hung up on me, too. I thought something happened to Mao Mao. I was so worried. Mao was asleep, and I didn't want to wake him. But I'm not going to get him up so you can say hi to him, okay? Maybe tomorrow. You should go to bed soon. What time did you get home? Why weren't you online until now? I just got home. I got online as soon as I could. But just a few hours ago, I talked to your dad on the phone. He said you already left. You were on the road for quite a while. The driver didn't know the way. He got lost. Did my dad say anything else to you? Did something happen? What's wrong? No, nothing happened. in a rush earlier. I forgot to give this to you. My mom said he can't sleep well without this toy. She insisted that I bring it here. Wait a second. Look, I really didn't mean to keep the child at my place. It's because your father had a car accident yesterday. His arm was injured pretty badly, so he would have had trouble. Of course, this is my fault. I should have given you a call. Then you wouldn't have been worried. I reacted poorly, too. Tell your mom not to take it too seriously when you get home. Okay. It's in the past. I shouldn't bother you this long, this late. Okay. I'll leave now. Uh, wait. I want to say one more thing. I hope that Mao Mao will be able to see us as a family together. It's good for him. And also... Mao Mao finally called me daddy. That's it. I'll see you later. Xiaomin, your cell phone kept going straight to your voicemail earlier, but I have to explain this to you. I only found out about Mao Mao staying over at Liu Guangyao's place when I got to my dad's house. My dad had an accident on his way to get Mao Mao. His arm was injured. He agreed because he had no choice. 
I was scared to hell to tell you the truth when I got home from picking up Mama. You saw what happened after. Wang Yao came to our house to bring a toy. I shouldn't have lied to you because I was scared you'd misunderstand. Please don't be mad anymore, okay? I promise I won't lie to you again. You are Mama's father and this will never change. Uncle Wong, hmm? I didn't expect you to respond so quickly. Ah, that's really a coincidence. My son gave me a call yesterday. He said he is leaving China, so he wants to sell his trading company. Well, so I told him what you were thinking, and just guess what he said. <laughs> he must have said I should just sell it to John. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what he said. Does his company manage tea businesses? That's part of it. Luckily, you can keep his old customers. It would take some time to start everything again, you know. I know you want to help me, help my family. I really don't know how to say thank you. Ha! No need for that. I've been friends with your father for many years. We're all very happy that you're interested in taking over your father's business and helping us promote our tea. <laughs> but I've never done this kind of thing. I'm pretty stressed out. Nobody knows a thing before they know it. As long as you have faith, the stress will turn into motivation. You're still young. That's an asset. I believe in you. But you need to talk with your parents. Once you go back home, my boy. Uh -huh. Sure. Jimmy, have something to drink. We're here, we're here. Hey! Ah, uh, Mrs. When, you, you finally back. When did you come back to Shanghai? When didn't you give me a call? Oh, I just got here. I was planning to give you a call later on. Mama, say hi to Auntie. Hello, hi. Oh, Mama, you already know how to say Miss Guan? Good boy. How was it? How did your blind dates go? Anyone you like? My friend set us up. He was not my type. I like to find a nice guy like Dian Ming. Hello? Jiaming, how are things with your dad? I didn't want to bother you with a phone call. My dad is staying home now, so I'm staying here. Here's the thing. Do you have any time? I need to ask you a favor. Just saying. Your business is my business. My friend Xiao Wang, he's got a company in Shanghai. He's leaving the country soon and wants to sell it to me. I can't come back right now. So if you have time, could you go check out the company and take some pictures for me and send them to me? Sure. I'll go over there right now. Sound good? Oh, yeah. Don't tell anybody about this yet. Okay. I got it. Bye-bye. <sighs> oh. Jingdo delivery. Oh, please, come in. Sign here, please. Thank you. Mm, goodbye. Hey, my stuff's here? Hey, what is all the stuff you bought? It's stuff for making my bread. Your own bread? Mm -hmm. This You can buy all this stuff online? You mean you don't know? All the ingredients are stored with the constant temperature from storage to transport to delivery. It's guaranteed and reliable. Sounds good and reliable. <laughs> hey, why are you dressed like this? Are you going out? Uh, I was going to tell you about it. I, uh, I need some time off to go take care of something. Where are you going? Jia Ming needs my help. Liar. Jia Ming went to Anhui. You think I don't know that? Uh, he needs me to do this for him because he is in Hanhui. No way. You're my employee now. You can't go unless I say you can go. Oh. Fang Fang. Friends come first. Hey! Xiong! Xiong! Get back in here! I wouldn't be selling the company if it weren't for the fact that I'm moving to another country. <laughs> but I'm happy to sell to Jiaming. Uncle Bao is ill, so Jiaming would be responsible for the family. 
He and I are old childhood friends. We grew up together. I would be very happy if we could help each other out. <laughs> <laughs> so, how much will you be asking? Don't worry just yet. If he decides he'd like to buy it, I'll offer him the very best price, really. Really? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Jia Ming is very fortunate to have a friend like uh, you. That's what friends are for, right? Jia Ming's really lucky to have a friend like you who he can call at any time. All right, let's go check out my office. Yeah, cool. Coming! Look at him. He said he's here for you, but really he's either outside or in his own room all day. I don't know what he's been up to. I, I don't need his company. I want him to go back already. What for? I still want him here even if you don't need him. He has a wife and child. Huh? He can't just stay here with us forever. Dad, Mom, take a look. See if you like it. What is this? What are you doing? I'm confused. This is a company in Shanghai owned by Uncle Wang's son. He's leaving the country soon, so I want to buy his company and keep selling our family's tea. Setting up a company in Shanghai? Jiaming, are you crazy? This must be Yu Xiaoqiang's idea. I told you already, she's coming after our family's fortune, but you didn't believe me. Uh, come on, enough, enough. Can you let our son just finish talking? Dad wants to sell the tea plantations. That makes me feel really sad. Who told you he's selling it? Let him finish, please. Go on. I'll let you two down, and let this family down, if I don't step up and take responsibility. So I told Uncle Wong what I was thinking. He was very supportive. His son happens to be wanting to sell his company because he's moving to another country. Uncle Wong asked if I was interested. Today I sent Shong to the company to have a look, and he sent me back these pictures. I think it looks good. So now I'm asking what the two of you think. Son, you're out of your mind. This is a company, not buying a house. He doesn't even have any experience doing this. He doesn't, but he can learn. Just keep your mouth shut. Go on. Dad's right. I can learn as I go along. Besides, it's my cousin's company. There's nothing we should worry about. Our family's tea is very good. It'd be a shame if we stick with the traditional business model. I want our family's tea to be sold beyond Anhui. We have to readjust our business model and open an online sales channel. Shanghai's a cosmopolitan city with a huge market there. Xiao Wang's company is a ready-made platform. It's a great opportunity. In a few days, I'll have more information on it. I'll show you again after I made the plan and set up a program. Uh, do you guys really not have any faith in me? Uh, Chiming, that's not how I feel at all. I'm very proud of you. You're willing to take over my business. That means... I finally have a worthy successor. And our family's tea plantation finally has a successor. <laughs> but your father's illness... Uh, I will get better very soon. It doesn't really matter. We, uh, we're gonna... Dad. Mom. You guys need to stop pretending, okay? Actually, Dad already knows about his condition. You've been hiding this from each other because you both care for each other. Today, let's get everything out on the table. We can face all our problems together. There's nothing scary about cancer. You just need the right treatment. Dad, Xiao Chang told me she wants to take you to a better hospital in Shanghai. Why don't you two just come back with me? Jamin, I understand what you two were thinking here, but I don't want to. I'll just stay here. But I'll be fine right here. Your mother will take care of me. This is the greatest comfort to me. That you're willing to take over the business. To take up this responsibility. 
Thank you. Hey, that's all right. Just look, our son has finally grown up, huh? He's willing to be my successor now. We should give him our support, right? Huh? You should say something. Let's eat first. We can talk later. <laughs> right. The food's getting cold. Come on, let's eat first. Here. Try this amazing braised pork your mom made. I'll oh, here. Have more. Ready? Why are you back already? I thought your flight was tomorrow. Oh, uh, I changed the flight. Uh, How come you aren't at work right now? I'm going this afternoon. My mom asked me to buy some things for Mama this morning. Uh, you having... A good time with Mama lately? It's great. He finally called me Daddy. <sighs> Congratulations. Uh, he's my son, after all. I gotta say, blood ties are amazing. Come on, uh, let's go up. So, did you have fun in Thailand? You planning on Mama moving in here? He stayed with us for two days. Xiao Tian said it was fine? She didn't tell me that, but her father did. Have you thought about how I would feel? Of course I have. I really didn't think that this would be a problem. You were okay with it when we were fighting for custody. This is different. Now you want him to stay here and move in with us? The little time we already have is becoming less and less. Mama only comes here and spends one day with us and sleeps here for one night every week. The other six days, we can spend our time together. But I can't stand him being here. It's unbearable. What's so unbearable about that? When the child is here, I should always be close to him. Okay. He can come stay here. But he's not going to be staying in this room with us. Then where do you expect him to sleep? There's so many rooms here. He can sleep wherever he wants. He's just a child. You want him to sleep in the guest room alone? Then he can stay with mom. Stay with his mom? She's not young anymore. She can't sleep very well at night. Letting them sleep together, how can I do that? You said no to whatever I suggested. So how about this? I'll go sleep in the guest room when your son's here, okay? Sounds good? Ah, uh, Lan Xie. You've always been a reasonable person. Do you have to blow this out of proportion? I'm unreasonable? Hmm. I came back a day early from the trip. Have you asked me why? Huh? Have you asked me if I ate well, and slept well, or if anything happened all these days I spent away? Since I stepped into this house, all you have talked about is your son, your son! Have you thought about how many feelings while you enjoy this bonding with your son? Okay. I'm sorry, I forgot to ask you that. I apologize to you. I'll pay more attention, okay? <sighs> pay attention? From Monday to Friday. It's either overtime or business dinners. Then the weekend finally comes. Now you want to bring your child to here. Let me ask you, when is the time for us to make a baby? Guan Yao, I'm not like you. You have your own child already. But I want to have a child that's mine. Can you get that? I totally get it. I really do. Haven't we been trying to make this baby the entire time? You said you couldn't get pregnant. Am I right? It's stressing you out. You needed a break, wanted to travel. Didn't I pay for that to support you? Am I wrong? Huh? You think I wanted to? I had to get away from you two. I was avoiding this. Can't you see that? Huh? Now I come back. A kid's bed is here and he's coming too. Don't you think you two are pushing me too far? And don't you think you're overreacting just because of a child? I'm overreacting? Is that what you really think, is it? Yes. <sighs> Tell me then. Is there anything that I'm allowed to care about?
there, Frank. Oh. This is you. Your holiday over? Yeah, all done. I didn't get to apologize. I'm really sorry about the way my husband acted the other day. I'm sorry. It's in the past. I understand. It was partly my fault. I irritated him. I said I like you. Right in front of your husband. No wonder I got punched. <laughs> but if we did start a fight, I don't think your husband would win. I've studied Taekwondo. Really? Of course. I'm better than most when it comes to fighting. But I went easy on your husband. Do you know why? Because I don't want you, Yu Xiaoqiang, to have a disabled husband. What would you do if he were crippled? <laughs> You'll wish the best for her. Wish that she's happy and wish her to have a happy life. Without any worries when you truly like someone. So the person who should be saying sorry is me. Now I'm taking back all the feelings I have for you. And all the jealousy I have for Bao Jiaming. I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. I'm sorry. I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, friend. <laughs> no need to. <laughs> Do you still think we can be friends? Of course we are. We'll be very good friends. And also, we'll have to work together. One more thing I'm gonna say to you. Thank you, Frank. <laughs> I'll leave you alone now. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <sighs> What's wrong with you? You started a fight as soon as you got back. Do you still want to be with him? Do you think I wanted to fight? I saw a tiny bed right next to my own bed when I... Ma'am, Mama's asleep. I'm leaving now. Thank you so much. Jiaming hasn't been around and I have to work. You've worked hard. Ah, it's all right. 
misses you. The sweet dumplings you're making are so cute. They're so round and smooth. Just as round as your face. <laughs> Just as cute. <laughs> Mrs. Yu, they sell ready-made sweet dumplings outside. Why buy them making them yourself? The ready-made ones are different from the homemade ones. Xiaoming likes the ones I make. I'm going to send these sweet dumplings to Anhui. I want my family to be united and happy. <laughs> He'll understand you. I'm going to go now. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. See you, Mrs. Yu. See you. Jiaming, what did your mom make this time? It smells so good. I made this for you. Try it. You put a lot of sesame oil in it, right? I made this exactly the way you taught me. I was only this tall back then. I couldn't even reach the stove. <laughs> okay, let me try it. Mm. Just... How is it? Mm. It's delicious. Dad, you should get some sleep after you finish this. You've been in here all day already. I can do the research myself. Jiaming, have you noticed that I've seen much better these past few days? Hmm? Now, that I've eaten these soft-boiled eggs that my son personally made for me, hmm, I'm sure I'll get better even quicker. Dad, how about I don't go to Shanghai? Hmm. Why not? I want to stay here and keep you company. I'll make whatever you want to eat every day. Yeah. Two days ago, you told me ambitiously, son, that you're going to start a company in Shanghai to ride the crest of success. Why have you changed your mind now? Oh, by the way, let me tell you something first. Ever since you taught me how to surf on the Internet, I've finally realized how big this world is and how wonderful this world is. I... Dad... But the world is bigger the further I'll be away from you. I just want to spend more time with you. With me? Well, do you think I'd get better if you stay here with me? Do you think I'd be happy if you stay here with me? Do you know staying here with me is like waiting for death to come to me? Dad, I, I didn't mean it that way. No, what did you mean? I just want... Don't say anything anymore! Just leave here tomorrow! Sorry. <coughs> Jamin, do you know what's been keeping me alive all this time? I've been relying on hope. In the past, I hoped my son would come back home, so we could all be together. Now, I hope my son can have a happy family and a successful career. Now, I hope this tea plantation that our ancestors left us can go forward and grow. Under your management, you're my son. Janmin. Listen to your father. Just go back. Okay? Dad. Mom. It's cold outside. You two should go back. Remember to call us more. Uh, don't bother him. Chaming. You don't have to think about us, okay? Just do whatever you think is the right thing. We can start over again, even if you fail, okay? I know. Dad, take your medicine on time. Go and get regular checkups. Yeah, don't worry about it. Mom, I'll leave Dad to you. I know. Yeah. 
You better take good care of yourself. Okay. It's time to go. Mama, Emma, Emma. This one, this one. I want this one. This one's ours. Emma, Emma uh, can you wait for me? I'm coming. Hey. Uh, Mr. Liu, what are you doing here? I'm just here to give something to Mama. Uh, I think today's not your visiting day. Yeah, I gave Xiao Chang a call, but she didn't answer. I thought I should just deliver these things here and go. Oh, all right, all right. Come on, Mr. Liu, please come inside. Okay, okay. Oh. Mr. Liu, hey. since you're here, can you play with Mama for a second so I can go hang up the laundry? Oh, sure, sure. Right, do what you gotta right, do. Thanks. I'll keep him company. <laughs> baby, my baby. Hey. <laughs> Did you miss me? Dad, oh. wait a minute. <laughs> Did you miss me? I miss you. Did you miss me? Mm. Oh, you miss me. It's so nice. What is this? Is it this one? Is it this one? Hmm, it's this one. Hmm. Why are you here? Ah, uh, I just brought some things over for Mama. Leave your things here. You can go now. I just got here. Uh, let me play with the child for a bit. Hey, look at uh, it. Today isn't your visit day. I want you to leave. Here. Uh, I mean, I can go. No problem. No need to have this attitude. This is my attitude. So what? I don't want to have a fight with you. Please calm down. Look at Mama starting to cry. Mommy! I'll go. Daddy, don't go! What are you crying for? Stop crying now! Hey, hey, hey! Why did you hit the child? This is my child. I can beat him if I want. This is also my son. You can't beat him. I want to beat him. I'll so beat you if you hit him again. Uh, uh, what are you, you doing? So what are you doing? What do you want to do? What are you doing? Look, you can't look, do that. Mama's crying. Listen, hitting a child is wrong. You need to go now. How could you yeah, be an innocent child? Get out of here! Are you out of your mind? Don't go! Dad! Don't cry. Mama, don't cry. Don't cry. I was wrong. I shouldn't scare you. Okay, okay, okay. Mama, don't What happened? Let me ask you. Does Bao Jia Ming beat the child a lot at home? He's never done that, ever. Then what's wrong with him today? I was at your place today. You went to my house today? Yes, I went to see Mama. He came back with a suitcase in his hand. And he asked me to leave when he saw me. I said I could leave, no problem. But Mama didn't want me to go. He called me Daddy in front of him. He started beating the child right away. What kind of person does that? After all, the child's not his own, right? That's why he hit him. How's that possible? I know exactly how he treats Mama at home normally. I don't know how he treats Mama at home normally. But he hit him right in front of me today. And for that, he doesn't deserve to be a father. Let me tell you, I'll take care of him if you can't. Don't even think about it. I'll ask him about the speeding business when I get home. Have him explain when you get home. If my mom finds out about this, she'll go kill him. Then don't tell Mom about it. Okay. But, uh, you have to promise me one thing. Mom's having her 70th birthday in just two days. Well, she must really want to see her grandson. I hope you can let Mom all come. Okay. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. Do you have anything else? I'm done. You can go. So 
生命中的相遇，是缘来又缘去。你是否会在意我孤单的美丽？岁月慢慢老去，是否还来得及？说一声在一起，真的不容易。爱情的故事有悲也有喜，只要有你陪我在这里。生活在继续，难免有风雨，幸福就是相伴走下去。要再分离，爱到底，无论以后在哪里，为了幸福，我们爱。幸福，我们爱。